Right, welcome to Vermin Hunters TV with me, David Thomas. And this is uh, a Hunting Life member, goes by the name of Gosling. Is that Gos right? No, Gos 1960. Gos 1960, aka Nigel. He's contacted me through the Hunting Life forum to do a calibration on his scope. So as he lives close to me, we brought him down to my local club, which is uh, Barbary FTC Club, which is just outside Swindon. And uh, Nigel, what rifle are you going to be using? Um, he's using the Ultra SE. The Ultra SE. So uh, we'll take you through the footage and let you see how we get on. Uh, local air gun club, and I'm just going to do a point of aim, point of impact drop at 45 yards on uh, Nigel's uh, BSA SE 177. Yeah, it's almost gone, not gone. There's only time you wanted to do it, it would be now really, because it, it, as it says that, the flags are going. Better grouping than I get at 10 yards. <laughs> Straight line from mm. the point of aim, see? Yeah, and see it straight down. Picked up again? Yeah. Got a good group going off there, though, David. found the measure of the group, which is uh, this group here. Cross the line there, point of aim, point of impact, measure that, which was 55mm Nigel, wasn't it? Yeah. And as you can see, by the size of a pound coin, which is the size of a rabbit skull, that group was well within it at 45 yards. So we'll measure that. Uh, data and put it into the chair gun pro. To the right, I think, we've got Nigel's group, which he took earlier, which is there. It's just dropped a little bit due to the wind and stuff, but as you can see again, within the pound coin, you zero, so that's not bad, Nigel. Uh, we've entered in to chair gun, so it's shown as a a, a generic uh, mill dot, which uh, Nigel's scope is, and uh, we're going to test him out on three mill dots, 66 yards, which is the bow target. So uh, we'll put that to the test. Let's see if we can uh, hit this bow. So keep your eye on the flags, what they're doing. There you go. Second shot. Let me just zoom round. Whoops. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Is that the longest shot you've taken today? Yeah, definitely. There you go. Miles. Smile on your face says it all. 
Oh, so it's superb. worth putting all that data in, Nigel, isn't oh, it? Oh, God, yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Well done. Already took footage of uh, the box. This is the range, which I shoot down at a regular basis, just for you lads so you can see what we're up to down here. On the crossbar, we've got a bell which is out at 65 yards. And that noise to my left, you can hear another member here. They do a lot of pistol and uh, 10 meter and 20 meter pistol shooting. So you can see Dave there practicing his. Uh, Shooting for the postal competition, what they've all entered. And also, got the flags out. So we can read the wind correctly or incorrectly. And there's a target over here, which is at 53 yards. Me and Nigel just been having a go at it. And uh, just like to say on video that the Spectra put the SE to shame. Third shot. Because of the wind, that was one and a half mil dots of wind, three mil dots of holdover. And that worked out right with um, the data what we just put in. So there you go. Your rifle now is uh, calibrated. Spot on mate, thank you very much. Alright, we, we, we uh, hit it first time when, when we calibrated it but we didn't record it, did we? So no, that's right. That's why we have to do it again. We can't help it with what the wind does but there you go, it's calibrated mate. Thanks very much. Due to wind nights that'd be, that's all that is mate. Yeah. Empty. Yeah. So, uh, how long have you been shooting at night? The, uh, hang on a sec, let's just get a little bit more light. That's better. So, how long have you been shooting your air rifle? Um, just after Christmas I started. Just after Christmas. And you hadn't shot an air rifle before at all? No, never. Used to shoot um, shotguns and then... Shotguns, yeah. Over to the air rifle. So, what do you think of the calibration? Do you think it works or do you think it's all just a myth? No, I think it definitely works. It's um, yeah. superb. So you've done you've done the paperwork, and you? Yeah. Uh, at your own at your own club and at your own house, and uh, you've contacted me. We brought you down here today, and uh, you, you're hitting targets there, around about your zero, and also you've hit the bell. You've also hit the 50 yard spinners out the back there as well. And uh, yesterday when I was speaking to you, you said you don't take anything past 30 yards or 25 yards. No, that's, that's absolutely true. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have dreamt of taking a, a shot at the bell prior to today. And, that's, and all, all your other uh, shooting you've done have been on sort of like paperwork and targets, no live quarry yet? No. Well done. So now you know that you've got a little bit more practice to do. Yeah, so definitely. You know what the rifle is capable of. Yeah. It's just you and the rifle now combined, and you get some good results. Yeah. Just down, putting down the, to you, really. Don't yeah. You? Just putting the practice in now, isn't it? Really. Yeah. Just make sure that you, uh, you do it the correct way as you've done from the start, all on targets until you uh, feel confident enough that you can go out and take your bunnies at or your quarry at that range. That's right. Yeah. You it's know. all down to practice now. That's it. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you. We're finished for the day now. And Nigel, you was using Air Arms Field? Yeah, 4.52s. Four, uh, 177? Yeah, 177 is in the PSA Ultra SE. Brilliant. Now, the reason we've done this footage today was that uh, this it's not everybody's cup of tea. But if you're getting into air rifling and uh, 
like Nigel has, he's, he's new to it, and he, he wanted to uh, better his air rifle shooting, then you have to do the paperwork, the practice, get the right pellet, do the calibration, learn your rifle, learn your rifle sweet spot, and all those things uh, Nigel's been doing, coming over to me, we've been chronographing your rifle, haven't we? Yeah, we've been checking rifle, it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, there you see, lads, you've, you've seen what Nigel's been able to do today. I'm not saying, you know, go out, buy an air rifle, you're going to be able to do this. You need to do the homework first. It's very important that you do that. So, I'd just like to say thanks, Nigel. Thank you very much for your help, Davey. For giving us the opportunity to show this. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. So there'll be more footage from Sai and myself. Thanks for watching.